Murph, back for year 10. Um, last season was a bit of a, a non-starter. You only played a handful of games. Uh, coming back to prove something? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's a big year for me on two levels. Like you say, it's, it's year 10. It's a big testimonial year. Looking forward to that. I'm really excited. Uh, and also, you know, not playing last year hardly at all. It's, uh, it's going to make me feel like I just want to get going already. You know, it feels like a long summer already. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting back on the ice. How's the rehab been going for the injury that you picked up? Yeah, it's been going really well. I was, uh, I was real close to, to being back at the end of the year. Uh, and I kind of pushed it a little bit, just hoping to get in the, involved a little bit more. And I, and I got there, but yeah, it's just a couple of, couple of weeks after that, and I'll take a little rest and then right back at it. And it's, it's going really well now. Your year itself, uh, of well, the, the year's just passed, that is. Going into this year, you were alongside Jackson Whistle, and obviously it uh, looks like uh, he might be moving on. But uh, looking forward to another challenge coming in because ultimately you'll want to get as much ice time as possible. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I have no idea what's going on for next year. And if Jackson's going with Sheffield, then wish him the best of luck. Sheffield, is it? <laughs> if that's where he's going, <laughs> I wish him the best of luck wherever he goes. So, you know, he done a job for us and, and I was, it was good working with him. And, uh, and if someone else comes in, I, I hope to get to get working with them. And, and like you say, I want to get on the ice as well. I want to play as many games as possible, and that's what it's all about. And and also just you know doing whatever works best for the team as well. You know, you know whatever the best situation is for the team, I want to be there and be that guy that can help out. The Challenge Cup uh, was won this year. Adam in his first season. How do you think Kiefer done? I think he done great. You know, I I think winning that Challenge Cup, I was delighted. I was I was pumped up for the team, but most of all, I was pumped up for Kiefer that getting that trophy in his first year because. He's such a passionate guy, and he puts everything into it. And you know that he deserved it more than anyone out there. And I think, and it was great. And hopefully, he'll be able to build off that success and then put another great team together and go win another one. And uh, he picked up a gold medal as well. Is it still a Stephen Murphy possibility for uh, Team GB in the Pool A next year? I hope so. I mean, if anything's in the centre of that, is really, isn't it? It's. Uh, a massive achievement and uh, you know I was pumped for Keith for that and, and just that team in general all those guys they really deserved it I was so excited for them you know I've been a part of that core unit for a good number of years now and, and you know not a better group of guys deserved that that win and you know delighted for them you spent a bit of time in the uh, media box with ourselves on Jan's TV last year um, hopefully I'm not going to see you next year <laughs> yeah hopefully not I enjoyed your company I, I, I'd rather be down there on the ice and, and, and being involved. It's, it's, it's tough watching when you know you can get involved and, and try and help your team. But I think our team did really well last year. They had a good, solid uh, solid season and solid campaign and winning the trophy as well. So it's, it's a lot easier to, to watch when the team's doing well.